everyone, it's Lainey and welcome to my channel. Seriously, how are you guys doing? Leave it in the comments section. I love hearing from you. If you are a new subscriber, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so, so very much. My channel is actually seeing quite a bit of growth in the last like 28 or so days, which is so exciting and I'm so, so stinking thankful for every single one of you. <laughs> if I sound nasally today, that's because I am. I don't know, we got this drizzly, rainy thing going on out there and it's just not, it's not helping out the sinuses. <laughs> if you hear that, what sounds like a stampede, it's actually, it's just a, a wild toddler in her natural habitat. I would apologize, but we live here. And of course, I have to plug the channel. If you're here and you're watching, please click that subscribe button, join the fam, you will not regret it. You guys, I am so stinking excited for today's video because we're going to talk about my April perfume tray and set up my May perfume tray. If you're new here, I've started doing this every month and I really enjoy it because one, <laughs> your girl has too many fragrances, okay? Okay, it's a problem, I know, but I love it. Um, so this has really helped me, one, remember what's in my collection, two, really get to know my fragrances because I do have so many that you kind of forget about things you have in your collection. This month, I feel like I really did some damage. I should say last month, my gosh, April's gone. In April, I really feel like I did some damage. So if you want to hear about the two different types of damage I did, then just keep watching. I had some semi-lofty goals in April. I kept my perfume tray, which I'll link that video down below. I kept it a little smaller because I was like, really wanting to dive into certain fragrances and kind of get to know them. And then I threw myself a little curveball. I decided to go a little crazy with the shopping, okay? I won't lie. I won't lie. Tax return season and I went a little wild. So I added some things to my collection. Really fast, I'm going to run through what I added. Um, I have it still on the tray just so that I wouldn't forget what I added. Isn't that crazy? I know. It, I know. I did pick up the Clean Reserve skin scent from Clean Reserve. I've loved this for a long time. I've had it in my wish list for a long time and Sephora had their VIB sale so I was like, you know what? I'm going to get 15% off. I'm going to grab it now. And then recently I have been watching a lot of Arabic perfume channels and I'm really intrigued by one, the scents, two, the fact that a lot of times they're powerhouses in three, the prices, you cannot beat it. This one, and I wish I should have made a better mental note of whose channel I was watching. This is a, I cannot remember her channel for the life of me, but she said she really loved this rare Tiffany. And I was like very curious, so I picked her up. And I must say, I'm also always so impressed with the Arabic fragrance packaging. Like they give you total luxury on a budget, which I so appreciate. And then yes, I bought into the hype and I had to pick up the two Yara's. Um, this is Yara Pink is what a lot of people are calling it and Yara White, but I believe this one is actually called like Yara Moi, M-O-I, I don't know if that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> But I did pick these up and I haven't got given them a real wear, but I have given them a sniff and oh my goodness, amazing. And then um, I picked up this Tarab Al Dahab. I'm probably butchering that because Andre Grantica, people were comparing this to Amber Romance, which I absolutely love and it has a special place in my heart because Karen, who is such a special family member, it was her go-to fragrance and it always smelled so lovely on her that I cannot wear it um, because of the fact it just reminds me of her but I love the idea that this might be similar and it could be kind of my spin on it so I had to pick that up again I think it was like 20 bucks I picked up some things on Mercari and some discount sites lately I have been browsing Mercari for really good fragrance deals but also fragrance deals that I can trust because you do have to be really careful when shopping secondhand. I did find two recent releases that I felt comfortable grabbing. One, the sellers had really, really good reviews. And two, these are new enough to the market that I was like, okay, like they haven't been sitting in someone's bathroom for like three and a half years. Like these are pretty darn new to the market. So I did pick up Valentino Born in Roma. Um, intense and the new Ellis Brooklyn Florist because um, I just needed the bottle not gonna lie it was totally for the bottle the pink bottle gets me and then what website did I find this on I think it was like I think it was fragrance net or fragrance buy I can't remember 
I have been so interested in this Musk Noir Rose because it's been all the hype across YouTube and people are saying it's amazing and I have not found any Narciso fragrances I love, but this one, I was like, you know what, okay, so many people are saying they love it, I'm going to try it, and um, this was the last one it said in stock on the discount site, so I was like, I'm going to get it. It was a little bit of a discount from like at Nordstrom. I still don't know how I feel about her, I won't lie. I haven't given her a proper wear. I don't fully get the Narciso hype. And then this one I ordered Guess Seductive Blue off of Amazon, like $25, nothing crazy. Don't go to the Guess website because on their actual website, these are like $65. These are not worth $65. Not any of them are worth $65. This is the third one in my collection. And honestly, I just got this one for the bottle. Can't lie. I have the red version. I have the black version. I was like, I need the blue one. It just will look pretty on my shelf. So silly, I know. I did the smart thing this time and picked up some samples of things I have been interested in. So one that I was had on my wish list that I was like, you know what, it's pretty expensive, it's niche, you need to smell it first. It is the Juice Box Cheeky Smile. I picked this up because Lauren May did a really good video of like, if you like Baccarat, you may like these. And this was one she recommended. So glad I didn't blind buy this because it is a nice fragrance. And I do get why she would recommend it, but to me, this is very masculine. I get so much of the ISO Super E that, like, on oh, my husband would love it on me. <laughs> Wasn't my favorite. Picked up the Kayali Musk because people said if you like the Clean Skin by Clean Reserve, then you are going to love Musk 12. Picked it up. I did enjoy it, but it was too faint for me. It didn't last long enough, so I don't need a full bottle of that one. The one that Lauren May also recommended was Ghost in the Shell by, what is it, Etat Libre de Orange. I actually really like this. It has a skin note and a milk note. It's a little unique without being too weird. And honestly, this one is still on my wish list. Eventually, I would like to get a full bottle. The sample came with, she is an anomaly and I haven't really given this a wear yet, so I can't speak to it. And then the other one that Lauren May always talks about that she loves that I have been curious about is the Juliet Has a Gun Sunny Side Up because I love a coconut note and I do like this, but honestly, I bought this off of Mercari. It was probably like this full. I went through it in a day and a half because this one to me is very, very, very faint, very watery. Honestly, most Juliet has a gun fragrances to me just are not powerhouses. So, I mean, I used this sucker up so freaking fast that I was like, there's no way I would buy a full bottle. So, very glad I sampled those. Now let's talk about some other things I did use up because I really was trying to use up some samples in April. I kind of switched my priorities mid-month. I used up this Michelle Germain Sugarful Sunshine and oh my gosh, I love this. Like, I have to have a full bottle of this. If you like airy, sugary, like super sugary, I'm talking sugar, 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 with a pineapple note and some coconut to where you smell like an airy, fluffy pina colada. This was so good for summer, OMG, obsessed. I also love the version of this, the sugar and spice. If you like sugar and spice and you want a summer version, sunshine all the way, wonderful bottle, love it. I also used up Michelle Germain Sugarful Dream and this one has a blueberry note and lavender. This one wasn't doing it for me, just not strong enough, really wasn't sticking out to me how Sunshine did. So it was fun to use the sample, but no, not for me. I used up the Montal Intense Cafe. I am obsessed with this version and the Restretto for the most specific reason. There's something about wearing it to bed to me that is so soothing, which I find odd because it's a very coffee forward fragrance. So you think it would be like invigorating, but there's something about the jammy rose with the coffee note that, OMG, I put it on before bed and I'm just like, ah, oh, I do want to get a full bottle. I am debating between this and Ristretto. They're very similar. And then I finished up the Etat, I have no idea how to say it, Etat Libre de Orange. I am trash. I wore it to the gym and that was it because to me, a very watery scent doesn't really stick out to me as anything unique or special. So would not buy a full bottle. I did use up my Kayali Deja Vu White Flower. The more I wear this, the more I really like it. It's very um, fruit forward to me, like with a lot of the Vanilla 28 DNA in there. I don't know. This one is a big maybe that I would buy a full bottle for. I don't think I would buy it full price because it doesn't last super long on me. Um, but if there is a really good 
Black Friday sale, I would probably pick it up. And the same goes with the Kayali Utopia Vanilla Cocoa. The more I wore it, the more I loved it. But you have to really love a very coconut forward scent. This is not sunscreeny to me. It's very perfumey. Um, there's a lot of floral in there. There's a lot of sweetness, but there's a lot of coconut. This is a beautiful layering fragrance. It goes so well with so many things. So I would also consider picking this up on Black Friday. I think I wore everything else in my April tray besides Finery Flower Red. That was the only one I didn't get to wear. Um, and I did want to quickly mention my thoughts on this Zara Red Temptation Summer because I gave this a true wear yesterday evening and oh my gosh, I love this. Love it. Um, I wore this in the winter months. Uh, I don't think it was quite winter. It was probably early spring but still very cold here in the Midwest, so it felt like winter. Um, but yesterday we had an actual like spring day where it was 70 degrees out, sunny, like beautiful weather. And I finally wore this and this is magical in the summer weather. Um, this just came to life. That lychee note really came out. I totally get that the Red Temptation DNA is still in there very Baccarat-esque. And I had read on Fragrantica, a lot of people compare, compared this to Fleur Narcotic, I think it's called, and I've never smelt that. And then I saw some people compare it to Greenwich Village. When I wore this in the, the cold months, didn't get that at all. Honestly, no. This kind of gets lost in translation to me in the cooler months. But yesterday, instantly my mind was like, bond number nine, Greenwich Village all the way. So I am obsessed. Zara, if you would make a bond number nine Tribeca dupe, you need to, a fall version? Hello, come on, that would be amazing. Okay, so that was pretty lengthy, I feel like, um, but that was the month of April for me, and I'm honestly, I'm like, okay, you did some damage. You could have shopped less, but you got quite a few, to, a few things used, touched, used up, so that's awesome. Now I'm going to go look at my fragrance collection. There is the month of April. Oh man, you guys, picking, picking for a month. It is tough, it's tough. I'm gonna try to reach for some things I know I have never worn. This pure poudre, Ooh, focus camera, pure poudre, never worn. I've really been wanting to wear my Skylar Boardwalk. Oh, and I did pick up these at the VIB sale, so. <laughs> We've got more than options, okay? Let me think. I have it situated here. It really is tough though. There's so many different things I like diving into. I will say sometimes I struggle with the perfume tray because I want to switch it up even more. I do think this serves such a useful purpose for getting to know my collection, figuring out what a love is. Okay, so the only one I really want to use up in May is the Stella McCartney Stella Pop. I love this. It's a very watery, sweet, a little floral. There's a very unique note of tomato leaf in here, so it's perfect for summer. Um, so, I mean, I'm so close. I think I can definitely use this up. I won't lie, there was a, a good portion of my life where I would bash those people who were obsessed with Bath & Body Works, but I am reformed. I'm obsessed with Bath & Body Works now, especially the lotions, body sprays, when I can pair it up with my other fragrances and be a great smelling goddess, okay? so. I did pick up the lotion of Poppy um, at the Buy 3 Get 3 sale and the body spray. And this was a Macari purchase because I couldn't find it at my store. Pastel Skies Body Spray and Lotion, which is soft cloud berries, pink sponge sugar, and coconut musk. The whole reason I wanted to get that is because it's very similar to Boardwalk by Skylar. This is an absolute love. Once I use this up, uh, when the Black Friday sales come around, definitely getting a full bottle for sure. A recent purchase, by recent I mean like over a month or so ago, is this Imaginary Authors Mojito because Lauren May, I did blind buy this, found it on Mercari. Sweet Mint, Tangerine, Magnolia, Bourbon, Grisalva, Sugar Cube, and Crushed Ice. This was in her Baccarat recommendation video. One I picked up a while back from Dua is Vanilla Dreams, which is supposed to be like Tahota, which is so crazy expensive and I was like I'm interested in what it smells like but I'm not gonna pay that price so they were having a sale they always have sales so I did pick up Vanillic Dreams I picked up from Marshalls this KKW Kylie Jenner lip 
or maybe it's, yeah, I think it's KKW, yes, lip, and I haven't worn it yet, so I thought, why not? I've been wanting to play with Mookalot more by Montal. This might be more for the winter months. We'll see how it wears. Not sure. Also picked up a Marshall Pure Poudre. Have not worn her. Smells beautiful in the bottle. Want to give her a go. Probably two years ago now, before my, uh, probably, because I'm sure it was before my daughter was born. Picked up Guest Seductive Red. Sprayed it once. Have never actually worn it that I remember. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to rock it. Reminds me a lot of Kayali Eden. Did I need both? Probably not. And then I've been seeing Kayali talk about layering Yum Pistachio Gelato with Vanilla Royale. So I thought, okay, I'm going to. And then I am leaving the She's an Anomaly little sample in there and try to use that up this month. Feel pretty good about the tray. Excited to play with these. Honestly, should probably add other things to it, but there's only so much time. Should I add in these? Should, should I? Should I? Should I? No, okay, okay, focus, focus. It's hard, you guys, it's hard. I have so many beauties. Okay, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do a perfume tray, let me know what is in your rotation for the month of May. And as always, please try to stay positive because at the end of the day, that is truly all we can try to do. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.